Hello everyone, I welcome you back. In this video, we will learn Guilford structure of intellect model of intelligence, SOI. Okay, so now let us go through a brief introduction of who Guilford was, since he is the man behind this theory of intelligence. So, Joy Paul Guilford is his full name. He was an American psychologist born in the year 1897. He was a psychology professor in the University of Nebraska, and later in the year 1941, he joined U.S. Army. In U.S. Army, he was involved in developing tests to select candidates for training the pilots. He designed numerous tests and tools, of which structure of intellect is one among the two. After the Second World War, Guilford continued to work on the intelligent test, focusing particularly on divergent thinking and creativity. So now let us look into Guilford's structure of the intellect. Guilford applied factor analytic technique to isolate the various factors of thinking to separate out creativity and other skills from the factors measured by IQ. His structure of intellect model organized these various abilities along three dimensions, namely content, product, and process. He sought to develop tests for each combination of the possibilities on these three dimensions, expecting that a person could be high on some of these abilities while being low on the others. Coming to the three dimensions of intelligence or structure of intellect by Guilford, firstly we have here is content. So what is content? By content, different people seem to pay more attention to and they think more effectively about different kinds of information as comparatively to others. These kind of information can be visual, that is information presented to the eyes, auditory information presented to the ears, symbolic information perceived as symbols or signs that stand for something, example Arabic numerals, the letters of an alphabet or musical notations, etc. The fourth content information is semantic. Semantic are the verbal meanings often, but they do not always associate with words. The fifth information is behavioral. Behavioral are the informations about the mental states and behavior of observed individuals. Here in content, let us remember that different people pay attention and think uniquely about different kinds of informations. For example, an artist or musician may excel in processing auditory or symbolic content, but may perform poorly in semantic or behavioral content. Coming to the second dimensions of intelligence or structure of intellect is product. So what is product? The product dimension relates to the kinds of information we process from the content types. So the first information is units. What are units? Units refers to the abilities to perceive units in a content area. This might be a symbolic unit such as words, visual units such as shapes, or behavioral units such as facial expressions. The second information is classes. Classes refers to the ability to organize units into meaningful groups and to sort units into the right groups. The third unit information is relations. Relations is the ability to sense the relationships between pairs of units. And then we have systems. Systems consist of the relationship among more than two units, then come transformations. So transformations is the ability to understand changes in information such as rotation of visual figures or jogs and puns in the semantic area. The implication. Implication refers to expectation. Given a certain set of information, one might expect certain other information to be true. The third dimension is operations. 
So what are operations? The operations dimension describe what the brain does and this type of informations are cognition. Cognition is the ability to understand, comprehend, discover and become aware of informations. The second is memory. Memory is the ability to store and retrieve various kinds of informations when in need. The third operation information is divergent production. Divergent production is the ability to assess multiple solutions to a problem. The fourth is convergent production. Convergent production is the ability to arrive at one single solution to a problem. And the last is evaluation. Evaluation is the ability to judge the information critically, whether it is correct or incorrect, which items are identical in some ways, which items are better, or what qualities are shared by various items, etc. In conclusion, let us look into education implications. Number one. Guilford discovered many mental abilities which were unknown before. Second, intellect is a matter of skills and hence can be improvised through training. Third, we should keep into consideration the individual differences among students. Fourth, curriculum should be such that a combination of operation, content, and product is made for the development of intellect. So that is all for Guilford's Structure of Intellect Model of Intelligence. Thank you so much for watching.